Welcome to CES 2020 at Velodyne LiDAR's booth. We're here highlighting a variety of different LiDAR solutions and partners in the booth. And those partners include Nightscope Security Solution, Tacticaware Security Solution, the iDriver Plus Street Sweeper, and our Ollie vehicle. We're also thrilled to announce our new smallest sensor, the Velobit. Compact, embeddable, delivering small size and big safety. Let's step into Velodyne LiDAR's booth to dive a little bit deeper into all of our products and demonstrations. We're here with Kyle Pelton and he is going to tell us a little bit more about all of the products that are here um, on display at CES 2020. So this is our very first HDL64 brought to us in 2005 all the way up to our current release of 2020 or Velobits. Almost awesome thing with this in my opinion is the scale size here. The HDL64 is a massive sensor. The Velobit on and had in his pocket. I mean come on. We're getting the same resolution, the same type of great quality from Velodyne from a product a hundredth the size of that. What makes it unique? So the uniqueness, obviously, the size. It is the smallest LiDAR that I've seen at the show today. Some of the metrics for it, um, it's a 60 by 10 by 100 meter sensor. Um, it's gonna be very useful for industries that are looking for short range, low cost at a hundred bucks, come on. You can't beat that. You know what's really cool is I saw at Robotics Research uh, booth, they had a Pegasus, which is a hybrid unmanned aerial vehicle slash unmanned ground vehicle, and they have incorporated, integrated our Velobit. Not only is it autonomous applications, but robotics and potentially security, smart cities, and more. I wanted to ask you a little bit about is the Velaray. Yeah, and actually, it'd be great to compare the two, the Velobit and the Velaray. Um, as the Velobit, in my opinion, is somewhat of a little brother to the Velaray. Um, the Velaray's intent was strictly for ADAS. The ADAS applications, looking for your simple lane keep assist, self braking, making sure you're not running anybody in front of you or behind you, depending on where you want to mount it. Where the Vela bit is intended for a myriad of applications, sheer from its size and its capabilities. The Vela Ray is a very specific design to do very specific things, much like our Vela Dome compared to our Vela Ray. I'm, I'm curious about our surround view sensors, and, and in particular the Alpha Prime. Yeah, definitely. And we're just stepping in further into what we're doing with Veladyne, all of Velodyne's array of sensors. That was strictly designed for the automotive uh, mobility programs, self-driving applications, things that we want on the road at speed. So anything in a class three or above where we're trying to get over 45 miles an hour, you can't beat the Alpha Prime. So with the Prime released this year, the image quality of it has leaped and bound over in a year of where it was. And what we're hearing from our automotive industries is just from an image perspective, they don't need a camera. The pixel, that is so cool. The density of the point cloud, the, the resolution of the image, they can do pseudo image recognition with a LiDAR sensor. That is amazing. Thank you so much for the walkthrough and who knows what the future holds. I understand that the possibilities with all of these sensors, but especially the Velvet, are endless. Hi Cheyenne. I understand that we have a whole new augmented reality experience at CES 2020. Do you want to tell me a little bit more? Yeah, so we've got our sensor right over here, about six feet away from the experience. And you can look around through the AR headset and see everything the sensor is seen in this room. And actually all the way out to 207 meters in this direction from the single sensor here. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, we can actually track uh, people here on the showroom floor so you can follow people as they go between different booths. You can load up a uh, experience on a car driving out in the streets. You can make out all the details with a guy walking his dog across the street. It's, it's very high quality. And all of this is built on Velodyne LiDAR's technology. Yes, of course. CES 2020 has been a phenomenal success with the booth packed every single day. We can't wait for 2021. See you next year, CES. Drop it.